It was exactly 81 years ago today, the 2nd of May, 1936, that the composer Sergei Prokofiev took to the stage at the Neslobin Theatre in Moscow to conduct the premiere of his new work, Peter and the Wolf. We are going to recreate that performance tonight. Our performance also features premieres. For the first time, we hear some newly composed music by children from Thornhill School and from Victoria Primary Schools, who have been working with Yeoman from the Musicians Company. They have, been, have written their own music, inspired by Prokofiev's story of Peter and the Wolf. And tonight, we shall hear extracts from those school projects. Another first for this evening is our Islington Primary Orchestra. A number of children from several different primary schools across Islington have come together to form an orchestra, and this is their first performance. The idea behind Peter and the Wolf was to introduce children to the instruments of the orchestra by giving each character in the story their own theme. Each theme is played by a different instrument. In our tale, the bird is represented by the flute. The duck by the oboe. Cat by the clarinet. The grandfather by the bassoon. by our brass section. Peter by the strings. and the rifle shots from the hunters by the timpani drums. And now for Thornhill's composition of Peter's theme. One morning, Peter opened the gate and went out into the big green meadow.
On a branch of a big tree sat a little bird, Peter's friend. All is quiet, all is quiet, chirped the bird. Just then, a duck came waddling round. She was glad that Peter had not closed the gate and decided to take a nice swim in the deep pond in the meadow. the duck, the little bird flew down upon the grass, settled next to her and shrugged his shoulders. What kind of a bird are you if you can't fly? said the little bird. To this the duck replied, and what kind of a bird are you if you can't swim and dived into the pond? They argued and argued the duck swimming in the pond, and the little bird hopping along the shore, as composed by Vittoria clarinetist and percussionist. <laughs> Suddenly, something caught Peter's attention. He noticed a cat crawling through the grass. That bird is too busy arguing. I'll just creep up and grab him. shouted Peter. The bird immediately flew up into the tree while the duck quacked angrily at the cat from the middle of the pond. The cat walked around the tree and thought, is it worth climbing up so high? By the time I get there, 
the bird will have flown away. Then Grandfather came out. He was angry because Peter had gone into the meadow. It's a dangerous place. If a wolf should come out of the forest, then what would you do? Peter paid no attention to his grandfather's words. Boys like him are not afraid of wolves. But grandfather took Peter by the hand, locked the gate, and led him home through the forest. After Peter had gone, a big grey wolf came out of the forest. seeing the wolf, in a twinkling the cat climbed up the tree. The duck quacked and in her excitement jumped out of the pond. But no matter how hard the duck tried to run, she couldn't escape the wolf for he was getting nearer and nearer. 
Swallowed her up whole. So this is how things stood. The cat was sitting on one branch, the bird on another, and the wolf walked around and around the tree, looking at them with greedy eyes. In the meantime, Peter, without the slightest fear, stood behind the closed gate, watching all that was going on. He ran home, got a strong rope, and climbed up the high stone wall. The tree had a branch that overhung the wall. Peter climbed onto the tree and sat next to his friend, the bird. Fly down and circle around the wolf's head, but be careful he doesn't catch you. The bird almost touched the wolf's head with his wings as the wolf snapped angrily at him from side to side. How the wolf wanted to catch him, but the bird was far too clever. Meanwhile, Peter made a lasso from the rope and let it down from the branch. He caught the wolf by his tail and pulled with all his might. The wolf tried to escape, but Peter tied the other end of the rope to the tree. Just then... The hunters came out of the woods. Following the wolf's trail and shooting as they went. Shoot, said Peter. Birdie and I have caught the wolf. Now help us take him to the zoo. Now, imagine that triumphant procession. Peter at the head. To him, the hunters leading the wolf.
and winding up the procession, Grandfather and the Cat. Grandfather shook his head discontentedly. Well, and if Peter hadn't caught the roof, what then? Above them, Birdie chirping merrily. My, what brave fellows we are, Peter and I. Look what we have caught. If one would listen very carefully, he could hear the duck quacking inside the wolf, because the wolf in his hurry had swallowed her alive. My, what a relief the duck was still alive. So Peter and the rest of the procession left the zoo and slowly made their way home for a wonderful celebration, listening to Peter's theme. <laughs> 